Today we're making one of my favorite cakes, a lemon poppy seed cake. I am a total lemon fan and this totally satisfies my lemon cravings. It is a moist, tender cake full of poppy seeds and topped with the most amazing lemon curd buttercream you have ever tasted. Join me in the kitchen as we make small batch recipes with big taste. Hi, I'm Leanne and welcome to my kitchen. Now, for years, when we lived in Portland, Oregon, every year for my birthday, my husband would go to the ba Beaverton Bakery and buy me their poppy seed cake with a lemon buttercream frosting. It was my favorite cake and I looked forward to it and anticipated it all year long. But then Beaverton Bakery closed down and there was no more lemon poppy seed cake. So I had to figure out how to make my own version. Now, the only problem with that bakery cake was it was huge. It was a full-size layer cake, and for just the two of us, it was way too much cake. So for my version, I have made a small batch version, and we're gonna make a six-inch cake that is the perfect amount for two to four people. So we are gonna start with the lemon buttercream frosting because it uses a lemon curd, all right? Now, you have two options here. You can purchase a lemon curd from the store, which is awesome, it's delicious, or you can make your lemon curd from scratch. And it really is super easy to make and it is so delicious. So I'm gonna show you how easy it is. And we're gonna start with just a small saucepan. Now, most, um, lemon curd recipes will call for just egg yolks, which is great if you've been making something like that mini pavlova for two I've got down there, or up there, sorry, and um, you've got leftover egg yolks. But if you just wanna make lemon curd and you don't have leftover egg yolks, go ahead and use the whole egg, which is what I've got in here. I just got one whole egg beaten up. All right, and then we are going to add in some sugar. This is a third of a cup of sugar. And then we've got about a half of, oh, about a teaspoon or one lemon's worth of lemon zest. And then I gotta grab a tablespoon. Here we go. We're gonna add in two tablespoons of fresh squeezed lemon juice. All right, and then we're just gonna whisk all that together and then we're gonna put it over a medium high heat and cook it just until it starts to boil and bubble and it's gonna thicken up. Most lemon curd recipes call for you to use a double boiler, but we're not gonna do that. We're gonna cook it right in the pan, but because we're not using a double boiler, you need to make sure that you stir it constantly. As your lemon curd comes to a boil, it's gonna get bubbly and it's gonna start to thicken up. All right, it has come to a boil, it is thickened up, and now we are going to, I've taken my butter, and there are two tablespoons of butter in here. I'm gonna put just a little wire mesh um, strainer over it because we're gonna pour it through that so that we make sure that there's not any little bits of egg white or anything like that that we don't want in our lemon curd. All right, let me grab a scrape spatula here. Let's make sure we get it all out because let me tell you, you want every little bit of this lemon curd you can get. All right. Go ahead and just push it through the strainer. Just like, you know, you wanna get all the good stuff out, scrape it off the bottom. All right, and then we're just going to mix this up until our butter melts. All right, so our butter is all melted in there. And we're gonna now put this in the refrigerator because we need it to cool down before we put it in our buttercream. So with some plastic wrap, because if you don't, as it cools down, it's gonna form a skin on the top and you don't want that. All right, so just get it down there. Make sure that the plaster wrap is touching the actual surface of the lemon curd and we're gonna put it in the fridge and we're gonna make our cake, but make sure you taste it. It's so good. All right, while that lemon curd is cooling, let's get going on the cake. And we are going to use a six inch round cake pan for this. I have sprayed it with my favorite nonstick um, spray and then I cut a circle the size of the bottom of the pan out of parchment paper But you could always also use wax paper So I'm just gonna place that in the bottom there and our cake pan is ready All right, so for our cake batter We're gonna start with some softened butter and I have six tablespoons of softened butter in my bowl We are just gonna beat that uh, softened but that butter until it is nice and fluffy and creamy all right, our butter is nice and creamy. And then we are going to add in a tablespoon. Oh, there goes my egg. Ah. 
<gasps> there it goes. All right, we're gonna add in a tablespoon of oil. You want some kind of mild oil. I'm gonna use canola oil, you could use vegetable oil. Don't use olive oil or coconut oil because it's gonna to add too much flavor in to the cake. So we'll add that in. We are going to add in three-fourths of a cup of sugar, a teaspoon of vanilla, and then a third of a cup of, I'm using plain Greek yogurt. You could, um, get my little spatula here. You could use sour cream. You could even use buttermilk if you have buttermilk. So this is just plain Greek yogurt. And you can use whole fat yogurt. You can use no fat yogurt. Um, and mine is actually a whole fat. So oh, I don't know why I'm mixing it with this. Let's use our mixer. All right, mix all that up so it's nice and creamy, well combined. Then let us, our runaway egg here, we're gonna add our egg in. You could actually add this in with all the rest of the stuff. Get it nice and incorporated. And then we are ready for our dry ingredients. All right, once that's nice and combined, we are ready for our dry ingredients. We are going to add in a quarter of a teaspoon of salt, a teaspoon of baking powder, and a cup of all-purpose flour. Now, we're gonna combine that just until almost all the dry ingredients are combined, but not quite, because we have two more things to add in. All right. Got that almost ready. And then we're gonna add in the very important ingredient, the poppy seeds. And we're gonna use a tablespoon of poppy seeds. And then we're gonna add in two tablespoons of milk. You could use whipping cream, half and half milk, whatever you've got on half. And then just go ahead and stir that till all the dry ingredients are combined and everything's all incorporated. All right, now it's ready to go into that cake pan that we prepared. So let's get that. Let uh, me grab, oh, I've got flour all over me. I'm gonna grab my spatula and we are just going to get all that cake batter into our cake pan. Then it is gonna go into a 350 degree oven for about 30 to 35 minutes or until you know it's, um, cake starts to just pull away from the edges of the pan. When you touch the surface of it, the cake should bounce back and a toothpick will come out clean. All right, while this bakes, we are going to make that yummy lemon buttercream. So to make our frosting, we are going to have a half a cup of softened butter and you want it really nice and soft, okay? So that you make sure it incorporates well. We're gonna use our lemon curd. Now, if your lemon curd has not cooled down quite enough, go ahead and stick it in the freezer for a few minutes because you want it to be at least like room temperature. You don't want it warm because then it will kind of melt the butter. So we have taken our butter and we've just, go ahead and, Mix it up a little bit to get it nice and smooth so it'll incorporate really well with our other ingredients. We're going to take our quarter cup. Now, lucky for you, that recipe makes a half of a cup of lemon curd. So you're gonna have another quarter cup of leftover. So enjoy. You know, it's actually even delicious on toast or just by the spoonful. All right, add that lemon curd in. And then we're gonna add in about a half to a teaspoon of vanilla and three cups of powdered sugar. Um, let's go ahead and just mix that lemon curd in first. All right, and then our powdered sugar. Go ahead, do this nice on low so you don't end up with a powdered sugar cloud. And then we're gonna add in some milk to get the frosting to the consistency we want it to spread nice and easy over our cake. Um, you can use just regular milk, you can use half and half, which is what I'm gonna use today, or you can use whipping cream. All right, you can see we need a little liquid in there. So let's go ahead and start. We're gonna start with two tablespoons. Now, if for a chance you get a little too much in there and your frosting is too runny, just go ahead and add in more powdered sugar. And if it's too stiff, add in more milk. I think I got a nice, creamy, perfect, lemon curd frosting. You'll notice that your cake will dome as it is baking. And after you've removed it from the pan and it is cooled on the cooling rack, I like to just cut off that bottom dome or the top dome actually, I guess, of the cake so that the cake sits flat on um, the plate. And I like to use these little six inch round cardboard discs to put my cake on and then I frost it. 
That way, if I want to move it around or move it somewhere else, take it to a party, it's easier to move when it's on this cardboard a little disc. All right, so our cake is cooled. We're gonna go ahead and just put our yummy, yummy lemon curd buttercream frosting on it that I'm gonna show you how I like to decorate the cake. Super simple, easy, but it looks fancy. But to decorate the cake, we're actually gonna take, it's easier than you don't make a mess on your serving plate, your cake and put it on just a cooling rack. But then that cardboard disc, like I said, is gonna be easy to get it off of here onto the cake pan. So. Now, I'm not a cake decorator. I'm gonna make this look very easy, very simple. Anybody can do it. I just like to take my frosting and just do the edges of the cake first. Just put a nice layer. We're not gonna do a crumb coat or anything fancy like that. Like I said, we're gonna keep this very simple, easy, maybe even a little rustic. So go ahead around the edges of your cake. And if some of the cake shows through, that's totally okay. That's called a naked cake or we can go back later and add another layer of frosting because we have plenty of frosting. But I like to do the edges of my cake first. Like I said, this is pretty rustic. <laughs> then I'm gonna go ahead and put my frosting on the top. Mm, give it a taste, so good. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit more on the sides, make them, because I got plenty of frosting here. I get that. I am not a cake decorator, but this takes, cake is gonna taste darn good. Now there's plenty of frosting here that if you wanted to make a two layer cake, you could cut this layer in half and add some frosting between the two layers, or you could actually just double the recipe, make two layers of cake, and then have a bigger cake if you needed to feed more people. That two layer cake is gonna feed, I don't know, you could get at least probably eight nice pieces out of it. Let's just get this looking a little bit smoother. You can just, I like to use an offset spatula to frost my cakes. Now, just kind of smooth it on the top or make it swirly, whatever you want. Then I like to take some of my poppy seeds, sprinkle a few in your hand. I like to just create a little border around the edge. You could sprinkle them all over the top if you wanted. There we go. And then I'm just gonna take my lemon here and just to get a little slice of lemon, I like to cut it in half and then just take my two little pieces of lemon, put them on top of the cake and it's ready. Now, because I put that little cardboard piece underneath. I'm actually going to lift this up. I'm going to spread this a little smoother here. There we go. And then I can just easily move it onto my serving plate. All right, here we go. We are ready. Our lemon poppy seed cake. So good. You are going to want to eat it just for the frosting. So thanks for joining me in the kitchen today and make sure to check out some of my other videos. I've got other yummy lemon desserts down below and I'll see you in the next video.